Well, uh, good morning, everyone, and can I welcome members uh, to the 20th meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have received apologies from David Torrance this morning and regret that he will be unable to join us this morning. Moving now to agenda item one, which is instruments subject to affirmative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the draft Carers Scotland Act 2016, agreements of a specified kind, regulations 2017. The committee content with this instrument? Content. Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to negative procedure. And the next instrument for consideration is the Environmental Impact Assessment Miscellaneous Amendments, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 168. And the purpose of this instrument is to amend five instruments which the committee drew to the attention of the Parliament in reports dated 26 April and 3rd May 2017. Our legal advisers have identified an issue in relation to an amendment made to the Agriculture, Land Drainage and Irrigation Projects Environmental Impact Assessment Scotland Regulations 2017. The definition of project in relation in regulation to one of these regulations could still be clearer, despite the minor amendments made by Regulation 5.2 of the instrument. In particular, it could still be clearer that subparagraphs 1 to 5 apply to paragraph A in addition to paragraph B in that definition. Accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting grounds H for the reasons I've just outlined? Agreed. Thank you. <clears throat> The Scottish Government did not take the opportunity afforded by the amending instrument to amend Schedule 6 of the Town and Country Planning Environmental Impact Assessment, Scotland Regulations 2017, despite the committee calling on it to do so. The reference in that schedule to the waste meaning of hazardous waste and European waste catalogue, miscellaneous amendments, Scotland Regulations 2016, remains incorrect <coughs> because those regulations are 2015 regulations. <coughs> so, does the committee therefore agree to express its disappointment that the Scottish Government did not take the opportunity to amend Schedule 6 of the Town and Country Planning Environmental Impact Assessment, Scotland Regulations 2017? Agreed. Thank you. Nonetheless, does the committee agree to welcome that the Scottish Government has laid an amending instrument seeking to rectify the errors relating to these instruments identified by the committee at its meeting of 25th April and 2nd May 2017? Agreed. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Police Act 1997, Criminal Records Scotland, Amendment Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 171, or the Mental Health Tribunal for Scotland, Practice and Procedure number 2, Amendment Rules 2017, SSI 2017, number 172, or the Mental Health Conflict of Interest, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 174, or the Mental Health Patient Representation, Prescribed Persons, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 175, or the Mental Health Certificates for Medical Treatment, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 176, or the Milk and Other Products, Pupils in Educational Establishments, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 178, or the Seed Fees, etc., Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 179,
Amendment number three, regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 187, or the Town and Country Planning General Permitted Development Scotland, Amendment Order 2017, SSI 2017, number 189. So, is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Many thanks. <clears throat> Agenda item 3 is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Abusive Behaviour and Sexual Harm Scotland Act 2016, Commencement number 2, Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 183, or the Act of Sederant Rules of the Court of Session, Sheriff Appeal Court Rules and Sheriff Court Rules Amendment, Lay Representation, 2017, SSI 2017, number 186. So is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. Now move to agenda item four. And agenda item four is the consideration of the Scottish Government's response to the committee's recommendation at stage one of the Child Poverty Scotland Bill. The committee made one recommendation in relation to the bill. Section 3.2 provides that the Scottish ministers may, by regulations, change the base date mentioned for the time being in subsection 1 for measuring the absolute poverty target. Currently, the base date is set as the financial year beginning the 1st of April 2010. Section 3.3 provides that this power is subject to the negative procedure. The committee recommended that Section 3.3 should be amended so that the power is subject to the affirmative procedure. The Scottish Government has responded to the Stage 1 report of the Social Security Committee as the lead committee on the bill. In doing so, it has agreed to this committee's recommendations. Accordingly, does the committee agree to welcome the Scottish Government's intention to bring forward the amendment at stage two that I have just outlined? Agreed. Thank you. And I now close the meeting.